The hundredth episode of The Clone Wars introduced us to Gregor, a clone captain that went missing after the Battle of Sarish. That battle was actually introduced in a comic called Routine Valor that came out seven years before the television series would cover it. So today I'll tell you the story of the battle that somehow led to Gregor's amnesia and disappearance. Unfortunately, we don't get any actual details about Gregor's experience, as the comic primarily follows Commander Cody. Very little is known about the planet Sarish or its importance to the war effort. It was a rocky world covered in craters and plateaus, and for some reason the Republic and the Separatists both wanted it under their control. Under the command of General Kenobi, the 212th was part of an attack meant to scatter and destroy Separatist forces. An anti-air gun was dealing heavy losses to Republic gunships, but was deemed too dangerous to attack from the ground. But Cody's carrier was shot down right next to the mountaintop that held the gun. Far from his real objective, he took his squad to the top of the mountain where they gained control of the gun and turned it on the battle droids. Although the comic seems to imply that the campaign on Sarish was a victory, according to Gregor it was one of the most devastating losses the Republic faced during the war. He actually served as part of the 212th in the elite squad Foxtrot Group. They were all killed or wounded during the fighting, and Gregor himself was reported as missing in action after he went looking for help. He somehow made his way to the planet Abafar in the Outer Rim, but he also developed amnesia, so we'll likely never know how he made that trip. His amnesia was said to have been brought on by post-traumatic stress after witnessing his fallen brothers in Foxtrot. He did regain some of his memories on Abafar and reclaimed his identity as a clone commando. He helped R2-D2, Colonel Gascon, and the rest of D-Squad escape the planet by apparently sacrificing his life to allow for their rescue. But he survived a massive explosion at a fueling facility and escaped himself. From there, he made his way to Celos, where he began living on an ATTE with fellow clones Rex and Wolf. He was one of at least three clones that did not take part in Order 66 after removing his inhibitor chip. His mental instability continued, and he was considered to be mildly insane. As the Rebel Alliance grew, Gregor and his clone friends participated in the liberation of Lothal. The clone commando was shot during the attack, and he died in Rex's arms. Gregor's story has been completely told in canon through the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. The version of the Battle of Sarish put forth in this video is part of Star Wars Legends, which explains why it doesn't exactly fit with Gregor's claim that it was a devastating loss. We may never know what truly happened to the Commando, how he got from Sarish to Abafar, or how he got from Abafar to Celos. His story is full of gaps at the moment, but that's all we know for now. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.